Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? So what up? What up? Manners and respect man. I your girl, Debbie from Dunga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. And if you're new right on over here, special welcome to you. Thank you so very much for joining the family. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning of the journey and you're still here, manners and respect. Now today I just want to share with you a nice, you know a Christmas, everybody wants to say a Christmas, a nice decent little homemade sweet, sorry, a nice decent homemade um, Irish potato punch for your, your Christmas morning breakfast table. You know most time on Christmas morning them have um, eggnog so we are using irish potato punch let's get right in now for this you're gonna need some irish potato i'm using just this one to demonstrate to you so you're gonna need to have your irish or peel it's washed already on the outside so you're gonna need to peel your irish make a peel after irish and come back now because everybody don't know if you peel your irish soon come irish clean white and pretty you're gonna be slicing your irish really thin for it to cook real quick in some cold water that is what we're gonna be doing so we're going to slice off your irish real thin i'm using just this one and this can also make a punch make punch for a single person put it in there and you're gonna get your flame up you're gonna cook it on a medium flame until it's properly cooked it's soft easy to whip out inside your blender whilst that is there coming to a boil when it's properly cooked what you'll need to do is to throw off that starchy water we give it a little rinse under your tap and catch a little water and leave it in your freezer or your fridge to cool and this is what it will look like you see it it's all cooked now that we have it all cold it must be cold remember after it's properly cooked throw out that starchy water rinse it and get a little water on top of it just to keep it leave it to be properly chilled okay i hope you're following in in your blender now now one tin of vanilla supplegen or nutriment now this must be properly chilled as well remember you have to wash your tin dry it before you leave it to freeze okay or to get chilled so we're gonna we're gonna pour this right in if you can't get supple remember we want to keep this on the clear side we don't want it to get all that no dark color okay so we need to do that okay look at it already and you'll see what is gonna happen now you want to get yourself one egg white into this so you're gonna crack your egg at the top like that you're gonna try to get your egg white out you don't want any of the red coming out so you'll crack it just like this and this is the white part here I don't remember the direct part try to get it out you see it coming Jamaica we say the eye but my bright people then please to tell me the correct the scientific name for it you can get this out good so you proceed now to get your white out all of your egg white out remember don't get any of the yolk in there okay egg white out right in okay now I hello a Christmas you know you need to put a little because you put the egg white you need to put a little but don't put anything dark a little rum white rum i'm using a little appetite i'm mean, not doing an advertisement but put a, put a not for the kids though not for the kids 18 and over are you going to put a little like this half of the car of the golden appetite rum a little pinch of vanilla if you have the extract this one is not it so you put you don't want to get it too too much because you don't want it up on the dark side now you're using one tin of condensed milk that is the sweetener okay i hope you're all in with me and we are emptying everything here and we'll just be going on our unit we're going there and we are going to put it on the liquefy mode okay family i had to come back a small pinch of salt that is to bring all the flavors together just a pinch of salt look at this just a pinch that's what we call a pinch and your hands should be clean your hands should be clean so somebody ever type said your hands must be clean it's yours and your hands should be clean so come okay now family it's all ready now look at this 
look here that's why we leave it to chill everything should be chill even the condensed milk but mine wasn't chill you don't serve this over ice you see let's pour look at it don't go all the way to the top wow camera girl you're catching them up on the consistency of this thing Woo. a little cleaning right there and for garnish a little freshly grated nutmeg and this is how you proceed to do it camera girl catch them up just for garnishing just a little bit not a lot not a lot okay y'all We let them rest for a bit and then we'll return to present to you. Let me present to you, from my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate and most of all to your stomach, especially to your Christmas morning breakfast table, it's Irish potato punch done from scratch. You saw me, I did it for you. Please do enjoy. Cheers. Okay, y'all, remember to like, share, subscribe. Remember to leave your comments below on this one. Talk to me about, about this one in the comments below. Principal and Descent. Remember, if you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? You're on the outside, you're watching, you're looking, and you've been doing all of that. Please subscribe. We'll be grateful. Thank you so much. When you do subscribe, remember to hit the notification bell. When you do hit the notification bell, leave your comments below, principal and decent. That's how you become a member of the post notification crew. And today's more post notification shout out goes to, and it is my pleasure, it is my utmost pleasure to say it goes today to Sharon Cleveland. Sharon, big up yourself, Sharon. Please tell me about this. Tell me when you do make this. Debbie from Donga Yard, bless. No stress.